our next speaker is going to wing it like a bird. What do you do when you commit to performing a speech in front of an audience, but you have no time to write, memorize, or rehearse? You wing it. Let's see if this strategy works or will go flop right in front of your eyes. Let's welcome to the Glock 10, Gil Fernandez. Thank, thank you. you, thank you. I don't know if I'm going to move the podium. So good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Just like the intro said, I didn't prepare at all. I'm here winging this speech. So why am I doing it? This is why I decided to take on this challenge. After Last week's meeting, the officers, we had a meeting and we were talking about how can we get our club recognized by Toastmasters again, and that's one of our goals. And the only way to do that, based on the criteria that was discussed, and you're gonna hear more about this in the next couple of weeks, because I think uh, we're, Ginny's gonna talk about it, and. Other people are gonna probably mention it, Jennifer mentioned it earlier today, is by having people doing more speeches. I committed to doing one speech a month. And as busy as I have been at work, I really didn't have time to prepare anything. I, I knew it. I knew that I wasn't going to be able to rehearse it. I knew I wasn't going to be able to memorize it. But I still said, you know what? I'll do the speech. And I did it because I want to lead by example, one. And two, because my whole goal is to become a better communicator. So this is an impromptu speech. And think about it as a five minutes uh, topics master session. So if you have a hard time hitting your one minute on your topics master, just think about me that I'm going to do five today. So when I do a speech, I am, I am over analytical and I really want to know the speech and do real well, and I need to study it, I need to write it, and I need to read it a million times, and I need to rehearse it to, to stand here and do it. What I found as I, through my short journey, I've only been a, a member of Toastmasters, what, six months, seven months? In my short time here, I, I, I realized that writing a speech, the speech, the whole preparation of the speech causes me a lot of stress. So every time I was doing a speech, I was writing it and making sure that I was using the right words and has some colorful language so that I could impress and memorize it so I could stand here and not go blank when I, when I, when I talk about it and then do it here. I, re I, started, I started doing it that caused a lot of stress. You know, the day before, I could barely sleep. But the more I did it, the more comfortable I got with it. And then I realized I'm not going to take on any more speeches until I have the speech written. That way, I don't have to. I eliminate one of the bigger tasks of creating a speech on that week of preparation. So I'll have a week, a complete week, just to memorize and rehearse, and that should allow me to do a much better speech or perform better in front of you. So I started doing that. I noticed that that worked out a little better. It reduced a, a, a little bit the, the, the level of my stress, but when there are other factors, I mentioned earlier that I, you know, I've been real busy at work. And I just, I knew 
when I took on this challenge, I knew I wasn't going to be able to do anything to prepare for this speech. So that's why I, I, I thought that this is a new way for me to take in up an assignment. So I apologize if this speech seems like I'm all, all over the place, maybe. But I think I'm, I'm driving it in, 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 in the direction that I want to. And I don't even know if I'm going to have the, 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 the full five minutes. Oh, look. <laughs> I, couldn't have said it, I couldn't have said it any better. Anyway, it's perfect timing, huh? Anyway, so I, I encourage you guys, every, every single one of you, because all of us have the same goal. We all want to become better communicators. And better communicators, not only standing up and doing speeches, it's also listening. It's also participating in the club activities. But I encourage you to, to, to do the speeches, because the more you do it, the more you practice, the better you're going to get, the less nervous you're going to get, and the more you're going to enjoy it, and the faster you're going to reach your goals. That also helps the club as you move along through your pathways to obtain recognition from Toastmasters. And why is that important to you that the club is recognized? Well, one thing is that earn your stripes at one school, any school, but earn your degree at Harvard makes a difference, right? So you want a club that is recognized, nationally recognized by Toastmasters to earn your stripes as a communicator. So I encourage you to think about it. And don't think about it too much. Just dive in, make a plan, and do your speeches. I encourage all of you to stand up here and talk. <coughs> Thank you very much.